Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the new version of the Through Night Scorpion. This is version 2. They uh, actually listened to the feedback that all the customers and dealers gave them, and used that feedback to make some improvements to their light. I really like it when companies do that, so I definitely want to encourage it. So a lot of times when companies will release a new version, a lot of times I don't go over it, but uh, I definitely want to go over this one because I like to encourage when they listen to feedback and uh, make changes. So you can see they definitely improved the instruction manual. You actually have pictures this time, which is nice. There's your warranty card. They included the promised uh, holster that the last version was supposed to have. This time it actually has it in there. You've got a nice lanyard in there. You can see inside the holster. We'll stick the light inside it in just a second. Spare O-rings. And then here is the light itself with a little sticker says read manual before operation <laughs> that's always a good tip I'm really bad about not doing that so uh, a lot of times I'll have to do the video again because I did not read the manual so there's the LED and reflector down in there that's that Cree XML LED you can see a pretty decent sized reflector so this light actually has pretty solid throw and 750 lumens out the front of this light because they're pushing that LED pretty hard so we're gonna take the tail cap off Show you the inside of it and I forgot to put it in the holster but we'll put batteries in and we'll put it in the holster so you can see the inside the battery tube the head down in there this is going to be powered by either two CR123s or an 18650 but I've got a couple of surefire CR123s so we'll slide those down in there and then stick that tail cap back on one thing I'll note is when you're putting it on you want to screw this part right here not this this is the part that you actually use to change modes so use this to tighten it on and uh, you won't have any problems. Tail cap or the, uh, the clip right here is removable. This ring right here, you just unscrew that and then the clip pops off if you don't want that on there. But we're going to tighten that back down because I do want it on there for now. And then I'm going to tighten the tail cap back on there. Lots of threads on this so it takes a little while to get it all the way on there. So there we go. Alright, so the operation of this light, if you have it all the way to the left, uh, one thing I will note is to get it all the way to the left, you have to lightly depress the switch, and you can see it's going to turn it on when you do that, and it's going to lock it in place. But if you get it to the point where it's not actually turning on, so just press it real lightly, turn the switch over, it's in lockout. So it's not going to turn on on you. But if you, like you saw when I first did it, if you press it down all the way and then turn it over, it's going to have it locked into that mode. So you just want to lightly press it down, turn it over, then it's in lockout. It's not going to turn on on you. Alright, so to the right of that you have your infinite output. And what that is, is if you just press and hold it, we'll get that out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. It's just going to ramp through all your different outputs. And when you see the one that you want, just let go and it'll be set to that until you press and hold again in that uh, infinite mode. One more to the right, you got your firefly mode, so really low output. And as you saw, if you're switching between these, it doesn't actually switch the modes until you turn it off and on. So firefly, one more to the right, you have strobe, and that's going to be momentary. So you can see if I'm just pressing and holding that switch and I release it, the strobe turns off and then all the way to the right is your momentary on. So just press and hold and you got that momentary on of that max 750 lumens. So if you want to have the max uh, constant on, what you have to do is get it over into the infinite so that's all the way over uh, without going into lockout and then press and hold let it get all the way up. It was all the way down so let it get back all the way up. It'll blink when it's either all the way up or all the way down so there we go, it's all the way up, and now we have it in the constant on uh, max output. So that's how you get the max output, constant on, if you do want that. Alright, so that's the operation of it. I said I was going to put it in the holster, so let's go ahead and do that. You can see, it's just your, whoops, it's just your standard nylon holster. And as you saw when I put it in, if you do that, it can actually turn on. <laughs> so it's probably a better idea to stick it in head first. That way you don't have... Uh, as much of a possibility of the accidental activation. And then here on the back you have the velcro and the button so you can attach it to your pack 
or uh, your belt or however else you want to attach it. So that's the Through Night Scorpion V2. We're going to go ahead and take this outside. We'll show you how it does outside. And uh, let's go and do that. Here is the Scorpion V2 outside. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use. Let's go ahead and give that mag light a shot. Little bush, 15 feet. Tree out there at 100 feet. All right, let's try out the Scorpion. Of course, a whole lot more light. <laughs> I mean, there's just a ton of light coming out of this thing for its size. It's pretty impressive how much light comes out of it. Shining around a little bit. Even when I have it shined up, you can see the spill down here on the bottom. Still lights up the whole yard really well. And of course, at 100 feet, everything is lit up extremely well. There's no question about what's going on out there. You can see all the details really, really well. I'll shine it around a little bit. So that's it at kind of a medium distance. Let's try a little bit longer distance. Okay, here's the Scorpion. I'll try the 40 mag light out first. There's the house at about 50 yards. Tree in the front yard at 100 yards. It does not go to 100 yards. Scorpion obviously does. <laughs> and then there's that tree. You can see lights up the details really, really well. Pretty impressive for a light this size, how much light's coming out of it and how good the throw is considering that XML LED and uh, doesn't really have a huge reflector but uh, you can see throw is great on this lights up a really wide area at once shine it around a little bit spill on it's really good nice combination of thread or of uh, flood and uh, throw so there you go that is the new version of the through night scorpion this is version 2 I didn't mention some of the internal stuff that they changed, but they changed a bunch of stuff on the inside as far as the, as far as the electronics, just to give it even more output, more efficient, just making it all around better light. It's not stuff that you would necessarily see, but uh, stuff on the inside that they did change to make it a better light. So if you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time.